Hi everyone and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milenis and today we're doing something that's never been done on the channel. We're giving a start to reactions. I'm going to be reacting to different kinds of calligraphy lettering. I'll be reacting together with Paul Antonio, with Calligraphy DK and with some other friends from Calligraphy Master Crew and maybe some other artists. But today the official start of the reaction is gonna be with my friend Calligraphy DK, aka Don Q. Happy to be here. Hey, hey, dude. Finally, bro. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, man, it's been a long time. This is actually, you don't know, guys, but we've recorded this like uh, a week or two ago. But then I decided it's it's not good to go on the channel. So here we are. Hopefully this time everything works perfect and you see this uh, video probably tomorrow latest. Where is it? Today is 9th of June. Hopefully this video will be up tomorrow, 10th of June. And yeah, today uh, we're gonna react to some uh, calligraphy and lettering artists that uh, DK chose. Bro, can I, can I call it just DK? Cause I don't know. It's yeah, DK is perfectly fine, man. So, That's what all my friends call me too. Today, we're going to be reacting to David Malin, um, Argus Letters, who's a German-based lettering artist. Slowly, uh, Jake Whiteman. Jake Whiteman. And um, Palette and Pens, which is also another great account. But yeah. That, that's, I think... Uh... I think I know everyone except the Argus, or is the guy that we yeah. reacted last time? Yep. Oh, that's, so okay. That's it. I, I know everybody. And okay, let's jump to reaction. We start with David Milan. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm actually a huge fan of David, and uh, I really miss him not being here, like not uh, writing anymore or being active with yeah. the and lettering. Yeah. He's branched out definitely into more like commercial based work, but uh, I think he's also signed to an agency. But looking at all his like previous works, you can still learn a ton, a ton of ton of stuff. Um, and yeah, this is this first video is like one example uh, for all the iPad lettering artists. Um, as you can see, he's left handed and yeah, he's he's just rocking it. You know, he's got his custom made brush which he doesn't sell this one that he's but, using um, right now yeah it's it's his brush i think i believe like he made it himself but i don't think you can buy it anywhere like you can get it anywhere i don't think he's Man, I, I was gonna say where is the tea where is the tea <laughs> but then <laughs> yeah yeah that's the it, it's yeah, funny because i was like okay this was like september 2018 i remember when mm -hmm. he uploaded this video i was like man this is so cool like how 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 does one come with the such idea like it's nothing special at the same time it's so cool and like i don't know man yeah he i think with this like through this video i think that's when a lot of people realize that he even has an ipad that he even owns an ipad and that he's doing ipad lettering but um yeah his technique is, is something else like as you can see he's left-handed and man his thin strokes and the way he's just you know doing that like in one take without like undoes is mm. is pretty insane yeah so yeah maybe and for 2018 standards it's pretty yeah maybe it's, it's pretty it's, pretty good it's, it should be cool to give rating <laughs> to the what we review like from one to ten <laughs> well yeah i mean just for fun uh, man I, yeah, as a disclaimer for for anyone who's like a little bit triggered by that, I mean, all opinions are are like just our own. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, like it doesn't yeah. matter what we say if we say the lowest rating or the highest. Yeah, yeah. It, we're it's... not like calligraphy connoisseurs, you know. Like we just, <laughs> you know, we're just having like fun. You know, we're just two dudes who like to do calligraphy, and um, yeah. So how much I mean, would, would from, you rate from like this a one? scale from like zero to ten? Ten is ten being the absolute best mm -hmm. i'd say it's a pretty it's a solid like 8.5 to 9 yeah yeah I, i'd I, say 8.5 8.5 8. okay I'll, I'll give it a nine that a nine okay yeah i mean yeah. It's, it's pretty good killing that's it. another david piece. milan is killing it <laughs> 
Oh, this yeah, is this that's... one from earlier. This is uh, July it's 2017. 2017. Yeah, 2017. So almost like a year back or like half a year. But as you can see, this was also um, very, very much loved by the community. I still remember this being shared everywhere. Um, but I don't think a lot of people realize, though, um, that this was done digitally. So this was what? not made. Uh, with a real pen. Wait. Yeah, this is this is iPad lettering. Like uh... maybe it's like a little teaser, a little teaser to to our new series. Yeah, <laughs> but, but um, yeah. This I is... mean, but this is like 2017, and he had almost 4,000 likes. And uh, considered that time, that's, that's a lot. That's of... pretty. That's a lot, a lot of likes. Yeah, and I, that's I a actually lot of shares see... and engagement. I actually see there is a Bulgarian rapper who I follow. He also liked the, <laughs> this wow. post. So, and though yeah, this is this post nice. was <laughs> everywhere. This post was everywhere. I st- uh, like all the communities shared it, and um, yeah, this was. But this was done with an iPad, I think. Yeah, Adobe. I, I was thinking to act like I don't know, like. But actually, we spoke last time, and uh, uh, you told me about some stuff that I didn't know, like. Milan yeah. used to do stuff on the iPad, but he presents it like uh, like a traditional work, exactly. like this one. And uh, I was blown away because sometimes, okay, you can see it's digital, but so many times, like here, I, I, I guess here you can still see if you look really deep into it. But I was amazed that he's doing such stuff. And uh, I guess our yeah, days, many, is... many people do stuff like this, but uh, he's one of yeah. the first, right? That started yeah. doing stuff like Yeah, during this. the time, 2017, this was definitely, um, he was definitely one of the first. Um, I got my iPad like November, 2016. So yeah, I was just, and then at that time I was just starting out. I didn't even know that this sort of work was possible with hmm. Procreate and iPad. Well, I got my iPad never. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if we ever hang out in person, I'm going to show you some stuff no, it's, and try it's, to It's funny because actually <laughs> I, I, I've played around with some uh, iPads of friends and I've tried Procreate, but I don't know, man, maybe the ones that you I have tried... to find your everybody. There's this one moment when, um, you know, you have to find yourself a nice brush that just works the way you tend like you're you've attended and um then that's the moment you you you'll be hooked i'm sure of it guys i just wanted to ask you how many of you are interested in uh, ipad calligraphy how many are actually doing it and uh, are you interested in uh, me and dk to make a video reviewing some custom made brushes by calligrapher artists friends of ours and because I know there are many places who sell brushes, but I yeah. think the best brushes are made by calligraphers and artists who are actually in the field. Absolutely. So Absolutely. if you're interested in such video, please let us know in the comments. The next one you'll see. Wait. Oh, this is digital, my man. Wait, wait. Uh, is this, this not the, the same, same piece? It's the same. Okay. But just to show that um, this was indeed made with an iPad. But dude, uh, like, uh, just check the difference. This has two, two, 20, uh, 2,600 likes. This has 6,800, yeah. like, what? what? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? This was also like, really. I think that it was just the timing of it. I remember this also being shared everywhere. Um, and and yeah, I think it was just the timing of it. I believe yeah, people 2017, just like vibe with it. Bro. The good old times when uh, organic reach on Instagram was was not a myth. Organic reach was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> organic reach reach was crazy, especially for people like him. You know, he already had like 100k, I think, at that and time. It's funny because now that I look at this piece, I remember in this period, 2016, 17, 18, there were so so many people that do I don't know, not necessarily being uh, digital, but calligraphy on top of some picture and i have so so many yeah. mixed feelings about this man like uh, that was definitely a trend um people what? people just kept doing it you know like just go to unsplash.com and and pick out a a a picture and then just just put your lettering on top you know 
but why what, like what do you think about it like you, you do you like this stuff? i mean like- i did it myself i did it myself um and at that time i remember um it was just i guess the main way to present your work i think people got tired of just using you know using mock-ups of like real pens mm-hmm. and paper and people just wanted to branch out and and it was just i think like at the same time with the ipad lettering boom and people since now they had this digital file of their lettering they could just like easily post it and paste like paste it on top of um a picture like this i think this is yeah this was this was from unsplash i think i actually i don't know i'm not sure what my feeling about this because i have mixed feelings first of all like it it looks okay like it it looks cool but at the same time i've i've been talking so many times with paul antonio and i know things why people do certain things and for example in my opinion people were doing this kind thing on a picture in order to make it look more beautiful like kind of hiding their mistakes and you know if a piece is not that strong when you put it on a picture you won't see yeah. the, the bad stuff and in overall it will look better but uh, i mean we're calligraphers and lettering artists and yeah i don't think this is the best thing to do of course i think it was also for i mean definitely like visually pleasing more pleasing to the eyes i think um but i think i also remember people just doing it because uh for like potential clients it gives you a sense of how this lettering piece might look on a poster or something or like mm-hmm. on like on like real world scenarios so that, i think that, that was also that's part a of good the point that's a good point actually. this could also very well be like an album art cover or something yeah and um, actually like looking now to it i think uh such thing it's allowed to do if if you're really good i mean if you're skilled already if you have some audience i mean if you feel like okay i'm not anymore a beginner if you have some mm-hmm. skills okay you can do this but if you're a beginner guys please don't do this like don't hide the bad letters on with some pictures and but that's just my opinion <laughs> you know mm-hmm. okay let's give a rating to i mean we already gave to the last one but this is a bit different yeah yeah um i personally like the last one more with like the whole analog feel so right um, right i i gave this one a nine so i'm gonna give this one an eight okay i'm gonna give this one a seven <laughs> yeah oh people are gonna hate us <laughs> no but it's okay oh okay maybe i should give it a one <laughs> no i'm just kidding just kidding yeah. okay I think if david millen is watching this I'm... bro if you're watching like okay i just want to say a few things if david is watching bro bro please do some calligraphy <laughs> even if it's <laughs> once a month or once a few months do some calligraphy or lettering uh i'm pretty sure not only me like the whole community yeah, yeah. would love to see your work again and um, also if you're watching uh, i would love to make an episode like this one with you or yeah. if you're not watching people who are watching feel free to send this video to david Miller. yeah go and share so you can see <laughs> yeah okay let's uh, share is a video him writing with a crayola marker yeah that was i i i remember watching this video for like you know hundreds of times uh just just repeating this like here this is like as raw as it gets and um it's it's just insane what he's this doing. is not the same tip huh i mean it's similar this is but... not the same this is not the same yeah this is like a big big crayola this is a bit marker. around it nah, this is some cheap stuff but i i don't i think i told you last time i never used the original crayola actually and now you when should I'm... you should definitely yeah now when i look him like writing because i know what's to write with this i it's similar marker but uh the strokes that i see him doing it I cannot really achieve them or at least not no no you cannot yeah i mean These i can achieve too... them but it i have to write much slower because this makes me want to try the yeah. crayola <laughs> yeah this this video especially like the p the way he's doing his p like his upstroke he's doing uh like downwards it's it's i don't know like his technique is so unique and um maybe it has something to do with him being like left being a lefty but um 
Yeah, but this you is know, something that he's a lefty, but he writes like he's a right, a righty. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, it's righty thing. Uh, what I mean is because a lot of left-handed uh, artists they write upside down, you know, and all yeah. the letters are constructed in totally different way. And also keep in mind the way he he probably he like in front of him he has his like phone set up going on, so it's oh. probably not a comfortable man way of writing, right. but. Like even that, like keeping that in mind, despite all of that, he's still writing so comfortably, which is yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is one. This one is a ten for me, man. man. This one has influenced my style so much. This is a, a ten for sure. So yeah, yeah I think this is really good. This is the best so far. This oh yeah, is, uh, Argus letters. Argus this piece. Letters. Um, this one. Well, he's also fun fact. He's one of the. He's the first lettering artist that I've met through Instagram in real life. Okay. Um, in Frankfurt, as you can see, Frankfurt, Germany, which is where I'm coming from, where I came come from. But uh, I want well, not his. Well, this piece is also great, but I want to look at the bigger picture. Okay. Um. So maybe you can like go to his page. Oh. oh. And then people. Yeah, because that's like his ma main selling point, I guess. Yeah. The way he connects each post. Yeah, we discussed this last time, and yeah, I, I don't want to go there. You have mixed feelings. Yeah, you have mixed <laughs> feelings about it. I'm not the it. biggest fan of this because I yeah. don't know. It's just so like I think. I mean, he was also pretty active, 2017, 2018 ish. Yeah, um, his last post that we actually are reviewing 2018, is from yeah. 2018. Like, what's 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 going on, Ar Argus? Um, <laughs> Argus. Yeah, if you're watching this, uh, I I'm I'm pretty sure he's still alive on. Um, Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he has like a photography account, I think, and then he posted like a month ago. Like, I would love to like hear his story. Maybe he just got burned out, and um, or he just had you know life got in the way. But you never uh, know. Yeah, that's you weird. Like, know. I, I, uh, he has like 20, 23k followers. I'm, I'm, I'm confused because if you're doing. He doesn't have 100k or like, but still 23k. It's a it's a good amount of. It's all. Uh, yeah, it's a good amount. Yeah. And uh, I I don't see why you should stop like this, man. Like, uh, are you fake calligrapher or what? <laughs> no, or like maybe maybe he also got like tired of the layout. Maybe he thought like, oh, he cannot escape this this of course layout can. that he's he's created. But it's I don't very know. Easy. Like if you scroll down, yeah. If you scroll down, he's. He's had his time, like there were times when he didn't do um, the sort of... Uh, yeah, here is less and connect. less. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, and now he's just... But I think you, you can always change everything, man. Like, to be honest, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this work. <laughs> like, oh, it's, okay, well, it's not that bad, but uh, for me, it's kind of uh, between beginner and intermediate, some, somewhere in between. I don't know. It's... Yeah, I think his main selling point was because he was so active with, within the community. He, uh, he was just a nice guy, you know. He was a great guy to talk to, and um, uh, and and it was just so much fun because he also had like I think background in graphic design and stuff like that. So he did a lot of like community challenges too. So I think that's why he grew so fast. Uh, of course, he he's also skilled, as you said, like maybe not like professional, like super um professional level which is also subjective but yeah. um yeah i think the main selling point i think he also was aware of that was his layout his grid style and and the way he interacted with the community he was you yeah, know he was such a nice guy to be honest I, I would love for him to come back and and post start posting again dude if you're watching you have to come man, back. Man, <laughs> we, we miss you. The community, the calligraphy community misses you. So, Goose, um, I'd say this one, um, like, like a eight, eight. I'd say eight. Like, I already said I'm not such a big fan of this specific uh, one, but we, we're reviewing this. Like, mm -hmm. I've seen the other of his work. He has some really nice things, but for this, for to me, this specific like, one, this is like a five to me. Yeah. It's just me, guys. Fair. Like nothing personal. Slowly, oh, yeah, slowly, slowly, the, my boy. The, the man, the man himself. Oh yeah, yeah. he's a man. But, man. Um, Last time you told me he's a forty. Like I, I'm still like blown away, man. Man, I, I, he he <laughs> he's the most twenty year old looking guy, uh, twenty year old looking forty year old that I've seen. But yeah, I mean, 
Um, so, bro, yeah. if, if you're watching, please tell me the secret. Like, of course, we men the in secret. general look uh, younger, but that's what I we were speaking last time when we were recording this episode. I, I spoke with the DK that in general, Asian people, they look younger. And then he told me about you, like, you have some secret, dude, and you have to reveal this secret. I want to look young. But it's, it's Maybe it's just the water here, right? I don't know. Like, huh. he looks so young. It's, it's crazy. So what's um, what's up with the water in Korea? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I drink a lot of tea. <laughs> Best brand. Oh, I'm drinking watching. tea as well. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's the tea. I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the work, man. <laughs> so this work, um, this is a tool... Um, well, the pen is linked. Do you know actually who started burning. this? Do you know who started this foiling thing? Oof, I might have to add, like the way it's done like that is made. I think this was started by slowly, but I think slowly also saw it no. in some. No, no. Because call, the the burning like the pen. Um, this was started like officially. A, it's like a company, yeah, based this in was America. Was started officially by Mike Ward. Really, Mike Ward. He started the everything about calligraphy and foiling there was nobody else doing such kind of foiling before mike and uh, if you go to his instagram it's m r m ward i believe something like this uh he he's the father of the foil calligraphy yeah but just uh, goes to show i don't know anything about (laughs) about this sort of stuff but yeah i uh well fun fact i i met up with him today with slowly and he taught me um how to do that and it's pretty it's a pretty interesting process actually and um it's a very because you don't apply pressure with this because it's already like heated up so Mm -hmm. it's a it's a very like you have to like touch it almost and um yeah if you if you apply pressure like like a normal pen it will like burn i think so you have to be very gentle this heat pen to me like i'm not sure if i can see that this well but it looks like it's not this uh, this sharp of a tip, you know. It's not like yeah, I think like um, the pile of parallel, for example. Like uh, well, it's like similar to like a uh, like the tip itself. I mean, he carved it with like sandpaper. Like he bought like a like a piece of it and then he modified it. Like this is like a custom made one, I think. Uh-huh. So um, he made it similar to like a parallel pen nip, but um, yeah, it's uh well he definitely has his own style with it and his own technique but uh it's yeah it's just so much fun like i i can highly recommend anyone to do that um to try it out if they have the opportunity costs a lot of money i think 200 bucks what for like i I, like just the cart like the the box that powers the whole pen costs like 115 bucks i think if you go to their website and then you can buy like the tips separately Dude. And, um, <laughs> yeah. and each tip costs like 15 bucks or something yeah it can go up yeah, pretty I'm, high I'm, I'm gonna pass on this uh if the guys from the company are watching feel free to send me one for free but <laughs> yeah Dude. and it's also like i wouldn't say but it's like also dangerous like you can you can burn yourself well with this of course too but yeah. so like an 8.5 8.5 yeah okay yeah, i'm gonna give it an eight it's an eight for me and it, just because as i said i've seen uh work of mike ward who i mm-hmm. consider the father of this kind of uh, foiling thing and you definitely have to check his work he does uh spencerian jake wademan the man yeah this post uh well the fo- i mean there's no doubt that he's one of you know one of the greatest but um is he? <laughs> uh, I wanted to I wanted to like focus on the tool. <laughs> uh, there's like a weird I don't know. It was like yesterday um, when I found like I just you know I saw this picture pop up and then yeah I just got you know sucked into this world of like custom made holders you know pen holders. It's uh, Jake has it's some cr- some amazing holders. He like it's a crazy world. Yeah, it's like I, it's I, like uh fountain pens like collecting fountain pens i don't know they, there's so many beautiful fountain pens but also there's so fountain many pens? beautiful pen holders yeah there i mean there's a whole community on reddit um who are like obsessed with fountain pens but i think this one i mean i was scrolling like there's so many different pen holders 
um man is this a like i think this one's a cello or like a violin i think but... it's something like to begin with i thought it's a violin but now that i looked in to it it doesn't really look like uh, much of it maybe it's a cello yeah I don't know. It, more probably it's a cello actually yeah that's yeah but but i think it's just so fitting um having like a beautiful pen holder the classical vibe to it and then just beautiful calligraphy i think those two are just you know just yeah, made I'm, to be i'm gonna show you my two most beautiful oblique holders which i never used they're just sitting here and uh, they're made by Kalim Kalim Kes. Check this baby. Oh my God! You you have you have the one like you have these crazy. I'm so jealous. I, I, even, I always wanted to have like. But this is a set. This is those... together with the calligraphy master stamp. Oof! And the uh, thing for the wax. <laughs> wow. But that's... yeah, this is an amazing set. It's probably cost something like a thousand dollars just in this box, but <laughs> again, again by him. You know, those like some of the pen holders really look just like like wands. Like, Man, like Harry they... Potter. Yeah, exactly. And like first Harry of all, Potter I, wands. I, I I'm I'm not writing with a point and nib, so I never actually written with these babies. They just sit here in the box. Well, you just look at it and you feel good about yourself, right? Like, you just feel good. <laughs> like whenever like, you look at it, even though you cannot use it or something or you don't use it, like seeing this on my desk just makes me, just makes me want to do calligraphy and just makes me want, just makes me feel good. True. But what, what are we rating actually in this post? Is it the Spencerian uh, or the holder? <laughs> Well, we can do both, but uh, the the main the main uh, attraction of it was um, was the pen holder. So yeah, yeah, uh, I'd give it a ten. No, no questions. Yeah. Well, I give it a nine because uh, I'm not a fan of such a thick pens. You know, it it looks oh, kind of okay. thick to me. Like I don't know. Oh, this man, this is yeah. Man. I am this these is really... these pen. Also, by the way, Jake Whiteman. Um, the same artists. My favorite uh, pen holder made by him is the Owl. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah. He has like, man. Yeah, if you go to his page, I think later he has a bunch of crazy pen holders. But this one, uh, I think he called it the comfortably uncomfortable pen man. Yes. Or is it just a caption? Yes. I don't know. I think wow. it also just like feels good. I think it's one of those more functional ones. Do you know like who who that is? Who, who that like who is just the a random dude? I think this is God. <laughs> this no, is God. No, <laughs> We're just going there. I don't. I, <laughs> maybe, don't, know. I don't know. Like, can we, like, I don't know. Maybe it's grandpa. I don't know. Like maybe someone. But then again, I I wouldn't want like maybe my grandpa looking at me while I do calligraphy all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. Maybe yeah. like guys, if, if somebody's watching the calligraphy him, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. If anybody watching knows who that person or personality might be feel free to let us know yeah, <laughs> maybe perhaps jake whiteman is watching maybe he can <laughs> enlighten yeah, us i give this uh a nine i give well. it, yeah same same nine that's Man. the one okay that is crazy actually this is also kind of a thick it looks but maybe it's not. very thick yeah but, well he has big hands he has big hands by the way <laughs> and he also has a big biceps because he's a like i think he he's doing a lot of fitness stuff yes which is crazy <laughs> man this is seriously i i want this pen i want it and maybe i should have picked that one if if i get this pen seriously i'll put it in a frame and put it on the wall i would never write with it just i want to watch it every day man <laughs> I feel like this is the stuff you see in like museums. <laughs> like, Definitely, man. Check it, bro. Like, like in hundred years, maybe or like two hundred years, people are gonna want to like. This is how people like. This is what people used to write. Goddamn. Wait. I've never seen. Oh. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to see if it's uh, salt or not. I think he just. Sh I think this is like a one-time thing. Man, Check I really want this pen. <laughs> yeah, he said he mentioned latest limited batch release, so it's limited. Man, I I, I have to ask. I'll ask him. Man, this is the best, yeah, the best sick. pen holder ever. This is such a flex. Like, imagine you go to like a meetup, and then you like everybody has like their their like big pens, and then you just 
whip out and you're that going owl. With... <sighs> yeah. Oh, by the way, let me let me just casually sign that paper. <laughs> no, no worries. Yeah, just just like that. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, the owl I would rate. Well, 11. that's a ten. <laughs> eleven. It's oh, 11. okay. <laughs> We're going that far. Okay. This just... is eleven for me. <laughs> yeah. God, okay. Such such beautiful work. What? Oh yeah. This What's is a the... meme. <laughs> Yeah, this is a meme. I wanted to, I wanted to ask about like your opinion on like Calligraphy memes. Uh, um, man, <laughs> what about memes? <laughs> but uh, like there, the, I I think Calligraphy community can definitely use more memes. I feel like, dude, I'm so happy you, you said definitely. this because I don't know you like you you probably seen Calligraphy masters uh, posting memes. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was a funny moment because I remember when I. When I dropped the first meme, I was, I was so kind of afraid. I was like, man, like, people can hate me about this. But at yeah, the same yeah. time, at the same time, I was feeling, man, we're also people. It doesn't matter we are artists and colleagues. Like, we also need our fun, you know. And uh, exactly, exactly. To yeah. be honest, in the beginning there was a bit of hate, but with the time I see more and more people. Who... Really hate? People hate on it. People Not hate really on it. Really hate, but they were like, mm, Jesus, like, <laughs> well, like just yeah. Oh, something. post like go back to like videos and like. But I'm a huge fan of calligraphy memes. Uh, I yeah, try me to too. Make, to make it like most of the calligraphy... people should be yeah more <laughs> memes, please more calligraphy memes. Most calligraphy memes that I've post on calligraphy masters are actually memes that I've seen about something and then i realized yeah. okay i can change this and this, this can and be like yeah can fit it into calligraphy and it works a lot of time it works but i don't have this much of uh, time to every time research or think what i can change so people if you have any good memes feel free to send them at calligraphy masters instagram or at uh, my instagram millennist or at uh, calligraphy down slash dk or if you don't know any good memes just Save some memes that are just normal memes and that you believe that. Yeah, it's just like meme formats. Yeah, right? that you think they can fit into calligraphy. So this would be really nice. And also, let me know your opinion about uh, memes. I'm a fan of them. Obviously, DK. Yeah, is, I'm a, is a huge fan. fan of it. Honestly, um, if you go like if you click on his page, there's a bunch more. Um, there's like a line. I think he made it like a tradition. Like every Friday, he posts like a meme. Yeah, uh, Paladin and Pence. He's a good. He's also 22, by the way, same age as me. Um, and he is just yeah. Wait. Um, oh, I've posted this. Po yeah. This is he's just so really good. good at it. Yeah. How can you go my Kelly page? <laughs> Man, actually, you know, I really guys, please. I need all the support and help. Send really good calligraphy lettering memes or send such that could be turned into calligraphy memes. And we're gonna make a, a calligraphy memes review. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that that I wanna that I wanna see. Yeah. Man, we gotta take over on from YouTube on YouTube. This is gonna yeah. be the I, we I have mean, to make this like a series. We're still the first channel about calligraphy that pushes into real YouTube kind of things. Yeah, yeah, reactions and stuff like this, and guys, yeah, it's uh, pretty meta. I know, like, there is a big responsibility on me and calligraphy masters as one of the biggest. Uh, I have a lot of pressure about such things. Like, I wanted to do reaction video like this for a very long time, but then I have all these my ideas in my head that people are not gonna like or enjoy it. But yeah. with the time, me doing the same things I, I know what you like guys i know what works but the thing is this is not what yeah. makes me satisfied I, I want to do the stuff that i like and that makes me feel good and videos like yeah, people have is... to like yeah remember like we're also just people right yes. like we're not just like content producing machines um so yeah and yeah man i love i love memes <laughs> i love going <Caligraphy> memes <laughs> So if you, also if you like love yeah. memes as well. Drop a like right now. Like for it's also really memes. good. Yeah, like he's he's really good. Palette and pens. He's really good at making these. <laughs> Can look at me in three steps. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's so right. good. Okay, we're done for today, man. Finally, finally, the first episode of reacting. I mean, it's a bit longer, maybe. I don't know what will. Oh, yeah, happen. we can we can just like um, use this as like the first version, and then and then just try to optimize, you know. Yeah, guys, like uh, we don't know how much longer long 
of a format is gonna be those kind of videos. Uh, I've watched a lot of PewDiePie and I was speaking earlier with DK. Most of reaction videos of Pewds are between 15 and 30 minutes. And I think this yeah. is great time for uh, such video. Right now, this yeah. video is on 46 minutes. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same after I edit it. But mm -hmm. no matter how long it is, keep in mind, we're just starting. We, yeah. After a few episodes, I think we're gonna have our routine and we'll be better at this. Yeah. But Give us now. a little bit of feedback. We we very much appreciate, you know, we read all the comments and you can also DM us, you know, at Calligraphy Masters or at Calligraphy underscore DK. But honestly, uh, again, we're just trying to have fun with this format. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, all that matters. Right? Follow me on Instagram, Milanist. Follow Calligraphy under slash DK. Follow Calligraphy Masters. By subscribing to the channel, you show your appreciation for the content. And by clicking the bell icon, you tell YouTube what you want to see. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, keep writing. Keep writing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap.